Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how, unlike the web, the App Store is not free and open. So yesterday I talked a little bit about some of my frustrations with Apple approval process and specifically with guideline 4.3 about app spam and some you know and getting a call yesterday saying they had to consolidate all of my language learning apps into one application and how I thought that wasn't really good but I was kind of like I just got off the phone with them yesterday so I wasn't really that upset about it right and a lot of you guys have said really good comments and, and, and Snapchats and everything like that saying, you know, talking about some of your experiences and how this is just sort of like a general thing. I mean, so many developers are, are suffering because of this, uh, these, these tighter guidelines, right? And I start, when I started looking around it, I started looking at, you know, other developers and how they're affected and I actually got off pretty lightly. I mean, we have a lot of apps and we like, you know, like I said, for me, because because especially a game, I mean, if if a game was going to make Candy Crush money, then yeah, sure, we'll we'll go ahead and invest in everything. But one of the reasons why we could keep the cost lower is to be able to reuse some of the code, right? And to be able to take you know to use like a like a framework and everything like that. But not necessarily, but also being able to tweak it each one, right? So anyway, so but anyway, I got off pretty lightly. I mean. It's, I mean, it's gonna suck. I mean, it's. It, I'm not, to be to be honest with you, I've been kind of upset. You know, all last night and today, not not so much upset, like angry upset, just sort of like a moping around kind of upset. And I just need to snap myself, snap myself out of it, right? Because you know, the the fact of the matter is, right? At, you know, Apple's not the the only you know game in town, right? Uh, there, there's this. Let me just show you this graph. I've been saving this because we're going to do a video about this topic. But like, here's a, uh, a revenue, uh, sorry, a market share distribution of, of all the uh, all the operating system OSs, and you can see the black line there. That's uh, that's the Apple OS. You know iOS and the blue one there is Android. So you can see that Apple actually kind of it's maintaining the same market share that it had, but Android is you know it's just it's growing and growing, right? And you know even when when I released my first app, it was for Android, right? And I, I thought I wasn't even going to worry about iPhone because I was an Android user. I'm still an Android user, although I use like iOS. I have an iPad which I really like, but it does start to go to show that you know that you know. Android is, is taking you know taking more and more steam, so I shouldn't be so concerned about the little you know problems I have with Apple. And you know, and, and you know, to be honest with you, Apple has to make sure that there's not so much clutter in their app stores. So they probably get you know broad directives and they they apply them. Although I don't think they were applied fairly to me. And talk to a lot of you other guys, uh, they haven't been applied fairly to you either. But that's not nearly as bad as the uh, guideline. 4.2.6, which is about uh, you know apps using like generated code or through commercial generators. So there's a really good article, like a blog post on Good Barber website. Good Barber is like a it's like a Appy Pie and all these kind of things. These uh, app generators where you could go with like a Wiswig editor and start building an app, and then it will compile it and release it. Right. So it was all about their frustrations with that um, guideline to where you know they have to cut back on the amount of iOS that goes out. So, you know, where it used to be, you know, really easy for them to post out to iOS, now they're getting a lot of those rejections back too. And I'm thinking, you know, in comparison, my problems are small with just a few few apps like that. I mean, to be, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but we were working for a while on an app generator software like that. We called it Project Viaduct, right? And I spent you know, this is embarrassing, but I, I, I spent about that, I spent probably three or four thousand on this before I just realized it wasn't going to work, right? Uh, where, you know, several developers working on it, and in the end we just cut back on it. I thought, you know, there's no way we could do the things that Appy Pie and Good Barber and what Biz Apps and all that kind of stuff could do, right? But we tried, and we have so much code out there already. I mean, so much code in repositories that's never going to be used. But I'm, so, you know, now I'm thinking, oh God, you know, I'm so glad we don't have something like out there because those companies are really going to suffer. But you know, we still have Android. We still have you know progressive web apps, right? And uh, you know, so, so you know, things aren't aren't as bad as I think, although they seem like it. And you know, it's, you know, so I've been thinking about, been very you know, introspective about this over the last you know 24 hours, right? 
every market has shifts. You know, I mean, every company I've ever worked for has problems that they have to deal with and, and everything like that. Now, a lot of the times in the past, I compare the app market with the web, especially the early days of the web. So there's a lot of similarities, including the hysteria and the bubble and all this kind of stuff. But one of the big differences between the app store, uh, the, between the app stores and the web, is that the web is free and open. Now, when it comes and when it comes to Android and Apple, we're talking about two different things, right? Android is free and open, although we all rely on Google Play for the most part. I mean. Amazon a little bit, but there's loads of other markets. If you really wanted to, you can get your app out there. I mean, you could even send someone to APK. With Apple, it's completely different. They have tight controls over there. They own that, so they they approve and reject. And you know, you are you are you are in their store, you know, with their permission and following their rules, right? That's just the way it is. That's the way the platform is built. That's the way it's always going to be, unless you have like an enterprise certificate. You have to go through that approval process, right? And, and it kind of sucks, but I mean, it's, it's just the way it is. So they, because they own it, they have to, you know, the only thing I can think of is they have a scaling problem, right? They have too many apps going in there and they just can't handle all of those and all, all the rejection stuff. So anyway, that's the way it is. But, you know, yeah, the, the app store is definitely not free and open like I thought. And I guess it's just, you know, one of those things you just have to deal with. So I hope, I really appreciate all the, all the kind words you guys have given me. And I, you know what, and I, you know what, I'm really sorry to hear about all the problems a lot of you guys have had because it's, you know, it just sounds, it just sounds like it really sucks. I mean, it's not a crime to reuse a bit of content. It's not a crime to reuse code, right? Every other industry does it. Every entertainment industry does it. Every, everybody does it. Now, it, you know, we're, not necessarily talking about taking a, a clone or a reskin and just buying it, changing a few images and releasing it, but actually taking things and making significant adjustments, reduce putting it to a different market, all that kind of stuff. And they make it sound like you're, you know, like you're doing something wrong when really you aren't, right? So anyway, those are just my thoughts for today. You know, I really appreciate everything. And also I apologize for my silence this week. I know it's been I haven't done very much in terms of videos this week. It's just been one of those weeks. Man, it just has really been one of those weeks. We're going to try to get back into the, into the habit of doing it. I appreciate all you guys following along, and uh, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow or Monday.